Well, hello, Shoreline congregation and friends around the world who are following these videos. This is your devotional for Wednesday, July 1, and I wanna wish you in advance a happy 4th of July and hope you have a great weekend celebrating coming up. But I wanna send you into the, into the holiday weekend with a psalm on your heart, Psalm 130. This is a raw, honest psalm. Listen to the heart of the psalmist. Ask yourself, do I ever feel this way? Is this the kind of prayer I might have prayed in the past or might need to pray right now? But listen to the heart of the psalmist. Out of the depths, I cry to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my cry for mercy. If you, Lord, had kept a record of sins, Lord, who could stand? But with you, there is forgiveness so that we can with reverence serve you. I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in His word I put my hope. I wait for the Lord, more than watchmen wait for the morning, more than watchmen wait for the morning. Well, there's three beautiful, honest, raw movements or sort of declarations that we read in this opening part of Psalm 130. The first is this, God, I'm hurting, I'm struggling, I need to be reminded of your mercy. God, hear my cry. That might need to be your prayer today. Say, God, hear my cry, hear my heart. God, I need you, I'm struggling. Remind me of your grace and your mercy and your presence. If that's where you're at, cry out to God today with total honesty and let him know you need to be reminded of his presence and his goodness and his grace and his mercy. And then there's a second kind of raw declaration of truth. If you, Lord, kept a record of sins, who could stand? And here's the answer, nobody. It's only through the grace of Jesus Christ who washes away our sins that we can stand before God cleansed, not by our good works, but by his good grace. So remember Jesus today and say, God, if it, if it were just me and my sins, I'd be in trouble. But me plus Jesus minus my sins is freedom. And that's how you live and that's how you walk if you're a follower of Jesus Christ. And there's, there's this final sort of just acknowledgement, this honest acknowledgement. I wait for the Lord. My whole being waits. I put my hope in Him. I wait for the Lord more than the watchmen wait for the morning. Picture a watchman on a wall. They've been there for two hours, four hours, six hours. It's been dark, dark, dark. And they're just waiting for the first glimmer of sunlight to come up over the horizon. Let the morning come. It says, it's like that, God, I'm waiting upon you. There's some things right now you're probably waiting for God to answer this prayer or to help you in this area or, or to give you strength that you need. I'm not sure what you're waiting on the Lord for, but don't stop waiting. Cry out to him, wait on him, trust in him. More than the watchman waits for the morning, wait on the Lord, look on the horizon and you will see the sun of God's glory and presence arrive. Maybe not this moment, maybe not this week, but God is present and ready to show you his glory. Lord Jesus, we pray that today we would recognize the goodness of your grace, the importance of waiting upon you. God, will you speak to our hearts today and draw near to each one of us we pray thanking you for all of your good gifts in our lives and pray you will lead us as we walk forward day by day and moment by moment. We pray this in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Well, God bless you. Have a wonderful holiday weekend and we will see you in church either online or on campus and be sure you check the website for details. God bless you and have a great weekend.